guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel <laughs> um I almost forgot what I was going to say there. Uh, so today, as you can tell by the title, I have my Sephora VIP sale haul part two. Um, and that's because Sephora was so delayed, I guess, in um, shipping out items because they were, I think they were um, hit with high volumes and very short staff due to COVID-19 and whatever's going on in the world right now. And I mean, I really don't care because these weren't essential purchases. I'm just, you know, relieved that they're finally here. Yeah, so I had ordered a couple more things um, on top of what I had ordered previously. And then I think I ordered like one thing after the sale because that product wasn't even on Sephora's website. And I'll get to that when I, um, when I show you the products. But I'm just going to jump right into the haul. So yeah, I've seen a lot of haul videos. I've seen a lot of part two videos. I've already opened this because I just wanted to make sure I had everything good to go. Um, and in this box, I have two orders mixed up. So I don't remember. Okay, yeah, I remember. So one thing I had ordered right when it came back in stock, and it wasn't in stock when I did my original orders last time. And this came into stock after my first order or my did I do two orders? I think I did two separate orders. So I came into stock after those two orders had already been placed. And um, I was on the email notification thing for this. So I'm super excited to try this out. It's the Youth to the People Superberry Hydrate and Glow Dream Mask. Um, I haven't tried this yet, but my friend also got it and she, or she tried, I think she got a sample thing of it. But anyway, she tried it. She said that it is amazing and that I will love it. So this is what it looks like. Um, and I was thinking I would do kind of a demo and review type video on this maybe. Um, I'm not really sure what yet, but it's a mask with, I don't know how to say this. I think it's ma Maki. It's spelled, I'll, I'll put it on the screen there. Um, it's got Maki and vitamin C squalene and hyaluronic acid and so it's supposed to be super moisturizing so the reason i love this brand is because most of their products are vegan um and obviously they're cruelty free which is awesome but they use a lot of like cold pressed extracts um and it's kind of made for all skin types even though this one would probably be better for someone with dry skin like me um i don't think oily i don't think you really need this if you have oily skin but you can definitely use it i think I'll test it out and I'll see what I think and if it's too much then it probably won't work for you but I think it should like I don't see what the issue would be. So next up I got the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme um, and it's a lip plumping serum I guess or whatever treatment not treatment it's just like it's like a clear lip gloss with a um, tint you know not tint it's just a clear lip gloss that plumps your lips. I remember having a sample size of this and it would burn my lips so I stopped using it but I really want to try this out and see if it can make my lips look even more juicy. Um, so we'll give that a shot in a future video. And then the reason that I placed this order was actually these two products. So you know that Fenty came out with their new cream products and it was just right before the sale had launched. Anyways. At first, I was like, you know what, Noah, I'm going to pass on them. And then I kept seeing reviews coming out and everyone is talking about the bronzer being so amazing. And then the blush also, I think the blush was mixed reviews. But from what I got through the reviews, it felt like my type of blush. Like it almost reminded me of the type of formula that I like for cream blush. So you guessed it. I picked up the bronzer um, and I got the shade 03 Macchiato. Oh my god, I'm so excited to try this. And the reason I let myself get this is because I don't have a cream bronzer. So that's what it looks like. I think, oh, it's such a beautiful shade. It's like a good um, kind of warm shade. Sorry, the sun's coming in through the blinds at a weird spot. So that's what it looks like. I am excited to test that out. And then I also picked up one blush during the sale. So I actually, one of my friends was doing a Fenty order I think it was this last weekend or something um, and they were having a 25% off sale and so I think if you hit like $100 or whatever you get free shipping so we did an order together um, I have like the pro matte filter 
foundation, which I liked and didn't like. Um, it depends on the climate that I'm wearing it in, I think. And also the color was kind of off for most of the year except summer. Um, but I got the hydrating one that they came out with and I did order another blush. So originally I had just picked up the one cream blush, but I do have another one on the way. Um, the shade that I got is Strawberry Drip, which is this beautiful like coral shade. And I love a good coral peachy blush and I like it to be kind of dramatic and like really pop because I just feel like it's such a nice fresh look for your cheeks when you have that kind of color tone. Um, and then, oh, and then this was kind of an impulse buy. So I saw, I really wanted a palette, but the palette was sold out and I'm just gonna, I'll probably just wait until the next sale if it's still around and I'll get it then. But I got a lipstick from Artiste Couture. This brand is also cruelty free, which is awesome. Um, and this is one of their silk cream lipsticks and the shade that I picked up was Power Play. I talked one of my friends into buying this too. I'm such a bad influence. Oh my god. Um, but it's so pretty, the packaging. I'm excited to see what this looks like. Oh yeah, okay, so it's just a good nude shade. I mean, I probably already have colors like this, but it looks really matte in the tube. I don't know if you can tell, but there's no like sheen. Is this one supposed to be a matte? This is silk cream lipstick, so I don't know. We'll try that out also when I do kind of testing all new makeup video. But yeah, that was also what I got. And then I did get a few samples and I don't know which ones came with what. Oh, I think this was like a point perk. It's the Amica Reset Pink Charcoal Scalp Cleansing Oil and The Reset Exfoliating Jelly Shampoo. Yeah, Jelly Shampoo. So I, I don't know. I figured I'd give those a try. I am, um, yeah, they are cruelty free. I was like, I'm fairly certain that they're cruelty free. But yeah, they are because I wouldn't, I've been picky and choosy with the point perks and the samples that I'm picking now. Um, only because I think in my last haul, I had gotten the Benefit Gimme Brow or something, one of their brow products. Anyways. I always thought Benefit was cruelty free. It's so strange to me that brand is not. Um, but yeah, anyways, I picked those samples before you decided to start going cruelty free. So that's okay. And then I also got this Amica Bust Your Brass. Now I don't really have blonde in my hair. Got like these caramelly tones. Uh, whatever. We'll, we'll just try it out. Why not? Um, there's a sample of the RMS Uncover Up Concealer. And the Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay. I haven't even tried this, so I've always wanted to, so I figured why not just try one of those samples. And then this one sounded really interesting, so I got a sample of that. So it's the Pretty Vulgar Cool AF Foundation, and I'll try that out as well. Um, and then, uh, so those were the ones that I got during the sale. So after the sale was over, um, so this is a product, like this is a product that I would consider a necessity and that's why I bought it. Um, the So for the longest time, I have been going onto this brand's website and I would add to cart and then I would just leave it. And then I'd go back a couple days later, add my things to cart and then just leave it. And the reason I would do that is because first of all, it was in US pricing. And then second of all, I think shipping was stupid and then I didn't want to have to pay duties in case I got charged duties because I do live in Canada um but it's been a product I wanted to try for a while and I was like why doesn't Sephora Canada carry this because Sephora in the U.S. does anyways right after the sale ended guess what Sephora decided to put on their website they finally carry Super Goop I don't even know if you can see that because I feel like it's washing it out but this is the Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen um, and it's in a broad spectrum 40. So I've wanted to try out, this one says normal to combination skin. I think it'll be okay because I'm not as dry right now. I am more on the normal combination side anyways, I would say. So that's what it looks like. I needed a new sunscreen, so this is totally okay. And 
the reason I wanted to try this brand is because they are cruelty free, but they're also reef safe, which I thought was awesome. I mean, I don't go in the water a lot. <laughs> I live in Vancouver area, so our beaches aren't really swim worthy. Um, so I won't be wearing this in the water. So I guess it doesn't matter. But you know, you wash your face at the end of the day, all our drains end up somewhere, you know. So yeah, I just wanted to try out this brand because the previous one that I was using was the La Roche Posse. It was like a mineral sunscreen. I didn't love it so much. It smelled kind of weird. And it was just the smell that it was. It didn't smell like a regular like SPF that I can handle. But it had a really weird smell to it. It was a tinted one, which I wasn't a total fan of. Anyways, I'm excited to try this. I wish they had the glow one, but I don't think that they did. So if they ever do get the glow one, I'll, you know, purchase that as well. For my like body sunscreen, I just use one from the drugstore because I feel like with sunscreen, that's one thing that if I can't find a good one, I may just use one that's, you know, not cruelty free because it's something that protects our skin from skin cancer. And I feel like you need it. Like, I feel like it's so bad to not wear sunscreen. And so... I'm not going to not wear a sunscreen. I'm not going to spend $100 on a sunscreen. It, you know, like this, if I were to use this on my body, would last me like nothing. Like I'd probably use this up in like a week. So that being said, I wanted to get one for my face that had a little bit, you know, more benefits, I guess. I want it to look better on my face. I really could care less what it looks like on my body. Like, you know how sunscreen tends to look greasy. I don't mind that on my body because I feel like it's almost moisturizing. Anyways, during the time that this went on the website, I feel like I'm rambling. They had, you know, one of their sample sales. Like if you spend $35 or more, you can pick like a samples kit. So I've gotten one of those before and usually they come in a little free makeup pouch thing like that. You know what they did this time? Yeah, Ziploc bag. I'm so not impressed by that. Um, so I'll go through that in a second, actually. And then two samples that I got that I chose were the Beauty Blender Foundation, which this is on sale right now. And I was tempted, but I'm not going to buy it. Um, and then the Becca Skin Love Foundation. Haven't tried this either, so why not? I think I might do like a video where I do my makeup using those kind of samples only. Let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see something like that. I don't know if that is something people would be into. Okay, so in this little pouch, we have, okay, so we have a uh, Sunday Riley CEO 15% Vitamin C Brightening Serum. We'll give that a shot. We have the Glow Recipe Pineapple C Bright Serum in a little foil one use thing oh this I like I have this in the mini <laughs> deluxe size thing oh it's so good I wanted to buy the full size during the sale but I have a few cleansers I need to use up so I'll just buy it when I need it so this is the kale and green tea spinach vitamin superfood cleanser by youth to the people so 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 good oh I got a sample of the super berry dream glow or super berry hydrate and glow dream mask um, he got some Dr. Dennis Gross Alpha Beta Extra Strength Daily Peels. I think I already have like a pack of these in my pouch of samples. <laughs> Never used it. I have this Caudalie Vino Perfect. Um, so a lot of these brands are not cruelty free, but I'll probably just use these because they're samples. I mean, I didn't purchase it, so... Yeah, I'll probably try them out, but they're not ones I would purchase even if I did like them. And then I have the Skin Brightening Eye Serum. A Laneige Sika Sleeping Mask. So this is different, I guess, than the regular one. I do have the regular sleeping mask. Um, and then they gave me a Drunk Elephant, um, the Bee Hydra, which I don't have I might have a sample of it I don't know but they also gave me a sample of the A Passioni retinol cream which I already had ordered previously um and then lastly is the Ula Henriksen banana bright vitamin c serum so we'll give those a shot and see but I'm so disappointed they just put it in this flimsy little baggie and they didn't give us like a pouch because 
I actually use those. <laughs> Whatever, it's okay. Um, yeah, so that's basically it for my haul. I think the thing that I'm really excited about is this sunscreen because finally got my hands on it um, after the longest time. And I'm also really excited to try out the Fenty products as well as the Artist Couture lipstick. So I'll probably do once a few of my other... I know I have not from Sephora. I do have other um, things that I'm expecting in the mail. So once those come in, I'll probably do like a full face using new makeup. I think it'll be a mixture of high end, low end. It won't be all new makeup, but most of it. All right. So let me know what you think. If you picked up any of the products that I picked up, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've already tried them, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to know. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited to try those out. And if there's any products that you saw in this video today that you want me to do a little bit more of an in-depth review on, let me know and I'll go ahead and do that. Um, probably not for another month or so because I would really need to test out the products. Um, but other than that, um, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification bell so you know when I post new videos. But that's all for this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.